Hello, and welcome to the Saigon Times News. I'm Harry Hodge with the top five socioeconomic events this week. Aviation security to be enhanced during upcoming holiday, 31st Sea Games. VN Index loses over 68 points in a single session. Government mulls taxing houses, reducing import tax. Ho Chi Minh City starts work on 3,000 plus social homes. Many infrastructure projects open to traffic. The Civil Aviation Authority of Vietnam, CAAV, has upgraded aviation security to level one, the highest level during the national holiday of Reunification Day, April 30th, and International Labor Day, May 1st, and the 31st Sea Games. Enhanced aviation security measures will be taken at all airports nationwide. The measures will be employed nationwide in the first phase from April 28th to May 3rd, and at the Noi Bay International Airport in Hanoi in the second phase from May 6th to 28th. CAAV asked airport authorities to inform the decision to aviation service providers and foreign air carriers. In the first session of this week, the Ho Chi Minh City stock market crashed with the benchmark VN index losing 68.31 points or 4.95% at 1,310.92. This was the sharpest fall in 15 months. The market saw 443 stocks falling into negative territory. Only 37 other stocks gained. Over half the stocks in the VN30 basket plunged their daily floor prices. The head of investment advisory at Maybank Investment Bank, Fan Yong Kang, pointed at three reasons for the crash. U.S. stock market losses, tighter monetary policies of other countries, and increasing capital flow into safer investment vehicles. However, the market bounced back strongly in the next session on April 26, with the VN index adding 30.42 points. Deputy Prime Minister Le Min Kai has asked the Ministry of Finance to propose regulations to tax houses to cope with property speculation. The Deputy PM has signed a tax reform strategy until 2030. According to the strategy, the agricultural land use tax exemption will stay on until the end of 2025. In addition, goods subject to the Environmental Protection Tax should be added while the tax rate should be revised so that the tax will become an important tool to reduce the import, production, and use of goods causing environmental pollution. The Ministry of Finance has been tasked with building a roadmap to increase tax on alcoholic drinks and tobacco and reduce the number of import-export tariff lines from the current 32 to 25 by 2025 and 20 by 2030. Ho Chi Minh City has started work on four housing projects with over 3,000 units for low-income earners. One of the projects began construction on April 25th at the Lin Chung Tu Export Processing Zone in Tuduk City. It will provide 360 social homes for factory workers. A day later, work started in a social residential building in Bin Hung Commune, Bin Chan District. The project will offer a total of 242 homes. A resettlement project with 1,750 homes for residents at Tanda Residential Blocks in Bin Tan District got off the ground on the same day. On April 27, the city started construction of a social housing block with 726 units in Lom Chum Ward, Tuduk City. Two TM2 bridge and two key road projects have been open to traffic in Ho Chi Minh City. Meanwhile, in the Mekong Delta, Chung Lung Mi Tuan Expressway was inaugurated on April 27th and will be officially open to traffic on April 30th. The 51.5 kilometer expressway is 98% complete after 13 long years of construction. Back in Ho Chi Minh City, a road in parallel with Vo Van Kiet Avenue in District 1 and Dang Tuk Vin Street in Hapman District were put into use on April 26. 2TM2 Bridge, which links downtown Ho Chi Minh City and 2TM Peninsula, was open to traffic on April 28. That's all from us for now. Thank you. And see you next week.